guys welcome back to my youtube channel you're here with me Sinead aka Sin City and in today's video we are going to be doing our very first frontal big install I'm super nervous because I didn't know how it was going to come out but I think I did a good job so the first clip was off the wig as it came all the details will be in the description box and the next clips that you're seeing currently are of the wig once I had basically plucked the um, frontal hairline and also gone in and um, bleached the knots so I was kind of just playing around with hairstyles whilst it was on the mannequin head and thought I might go in with a side part like so. So as you can see I'm super nervous but I went in with a brown wig cap um, and I prepared my hair into two flat twists on either side and then just went and cut out little earlobes because the method that I was trying out um, was the uh, bold wig cap method. So I basically cut in little holes on either side of my ear and then I went in with some got to be spray, freeze gel spray and sprayed that across the front of my hair which you'll see in a second. And then like as every wig review hair video comes into play, this is a clip of me drying the wig cap down. Um, so I basically dried it and I added multiple layers, I think I did it twice, um, and then waited for it to be completely dry and set and then went in with my scissors, little mini scissors that I have and started basically cutting off the cap. So I made sure that the cap was in front of my hairline. Um, even though I was using gel, this is all practice for when I go in and feel like I'm brave enough to actually attempt real glue. But um, in kind of obviously just doing it at the moment, I just made sure that I was following the necessary steps so that when it comes to obviously implementing this, I, I've got it down to a T. But I know where I made the mistakes and you will see the mistakes in the video. So guys, don't be clocking me in the comments. Anywhere that I felt like the wig cap was cure, I went in and added more glue or free spray. So before putting the wig on my head and basically figuring out the position of it, I made sure to go in on the back of the wig and cut off the netting that comes with it um, and make sure that was completely gone so I didn't forget about it. And then I put it on top of my head and then basically started placing it out on where I felt like it should sit, making sure that it was sitting in front of the cap just enough so that you couldn't really see what was going on underneath my hair. But I feel like using this method is actually really, really good because you essentially, it could look like it's growing from your skin if implemented correctly and down to the T. So once I was happy with the positioning of the wig on my head, I got a Sharpie pen and went in and placed three little dots. So I placed a dot in the middle of my forehead, um, I also placed a dot on either side of my head as well, and that was just to basically help map out to me when I would be reapplying the wig um, where everything needed to start and stop, so I knew where my sideburns would need to start or finish, shall I say, and I knew obviously how far in it needed to come onto my face as well. So this method I found to be really helpful for a first timer. Um, such as myself and then after I did that I basically just went in and started prepping the wig and the wig cap so I went in applying my foundation which was the NARS Illuminous Radiant foundation in the colour New Guinea on my wig cap and also inside of my actual wig as well um, making sure that it was evenly just distributed and kind of meshing in so that it essentially gave like a whole flawless look um, I then also grabbed my scissors and started cutting away at the little bits of material that was coming off the wig cap just to make sure that was all off and then I made sure to spray the inside of my wig after applying the makeup with the freeze gel spray just to make sure it was all locked in um, and good to go and then once that was all done just to make sure that all the hairs were like still looking very natural I went through with a comb along the um, hairline to began to place the wig back onto my head making sure that the dots all lined up as it had done so before. So 
I went back in with my Gots to Be spray and basically applied a thin layer. I say thin layer, but as it looked like, that didn't look very thin to be fair. And it looks like I'm actually making a little bit of a mockery of it, which I slightly was and I realized at the time that I was. Um, and I do generally think now, looking back and obviously going through it, I know how to do that a lot better, but I think it's probably a little bit easier if it's your first time, probably not to go in with the, the spray, but to maybe go in with the gel, just obviously not so messy. Um, but once that was all done, basically tacky, I then went and pulled the wig down and started placing it on my head. So I used the back of my rat tail comb to essentially kind of ease it down. And then I went in with the comb once I felt like it was in the right position and then applied a little bit of pressure in brushing it down, but also kind of brushing it in. And that is supposed to help essentially with giving it more of a flawless look which I feel like it really would have been if I had executed like the other side better because this side came out, I feel like, pretty good. Um, but we'll get to that. <laughs> but I did do a good job, I'm not gonna lie. I did do a really good job. But I just know where I could have made it a little bit more immaculate if I had known. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's basically what I did along the whole hairline, basically brushing it all in. And then once it, I felt like it was down and was in the correct place, I then picked up a little bit more of that spray and then the hairdryer to blow dry it down. Okay, so now here comes the tricky bit, cutting off the lace. Now I think what I would do differently next time is actually wrap my hair at this present moment and allow it to sit for a little bit as I feel like that will help give an ultimate um, melt and also will allow me to not have to have done so many steps that I did have to do after this process just because I feel like even though it was dry and I made sure that the hair was dry, it didn't have an ultimate melt that I felt like it could have achieved. Um, so I cut little slips either side of my hair and then began to use a little eyebrow razor to cut away at the lace. Now I feel like using the razor like this isn't the best method, you need to use it this way um, as this gives you maximum effect and you can get as close to the lace and the hairline without cutting off any of the hair and I started getting better results as you can see I got kind of excited. Um, but then where I made a little bit of a boo-boo error was kind of forgetting about my sidebands which I think is an easy mistake to make. Um, as I realized right there and then. So I went in and basically pulled them out and then obviously cut around them to continue cutting off the rest of the lace around the sides of the earlobes. Um, but it's all quite tricky, so I guess just take your time with it and you'll be fine. I literally realized from doing this side first, all the errors that I had kind of made and how to basically fix them or avoid doing them when it came to the other side, which is why I believe the other side came out a lot better because it wasn't my test area, essentially it was my more experienced time because I had been doing the same steps over again and that's why I also feel like it's really handy to cut the lace off in sections instead of cutting it off in one whole heap because if you do make a mistake you can kind of figure it out on the other side and then obviously do your hairstyle according to what mistake you may have made or not may have made. cutting off all the lace I then grabbed a scarf and then tied it around the front of my hair I made sure that was secure I pretty much filmed this video super early so I proceeded to get ready and then come back and finish this video off for you guys so um, this was the big reveal I liked how the left side came out I feel like the left side looked really nice very natural the hairline looked really good the right side however was a little bit thick in the hairline as you can see here and also I had left on maybe a little bit too much lace um, that was something that I 
I've noticed as going throughout the day and then obviously went in and proceeded to amend that. But for the sake of the video and at the time, I just continued pulling out um, my sideburns as the unit that I had purchased was a 20 inch unit. So I went in and basically pulled out those little sideburns and began to cut them and make them look a little bit more authentic shall I say as you can see here like yeah it's super bugging me it's so bugging me that it looks like that I'm like hmm what happened but a lot of it was glue like you saw how thick I sprayed that shit on guys like you saw it I said a thin layer but nothing about that was thin <laughs> so a lot of it was that and I just needed to go in and um basically get a wet cloth and go along it and just get rid of it which I did do I kind of didn't put that bit in but essentially that's what I did do to kind of fix it and make it look a little bit better and I'm not gonna lie I butchered those <laughs> those sideburns but one side came out really good um but the other side I, I basically picked up the tool the wrong side so yeah like it sounds like this video was going to be a little bit crazy but I managed to finesse it I did I did as you can see I've got my foundation back at it again and I'm going along that hairline after I basically went and did the little things that I said um and it started to basically look a lot better and then I started getting super excited and then jumped into my whole face Once I completed my face, I went back into my hair. Initially, I thought I was going to do a middle part. So I basically separated it into two and then went in with this little hair shredding tool and started framing my face um, as I kind of felt like this was the look and style that I was going to go for. Um, but also I wanted to thin it out a little bit as I feel like having it quite thick sometimes in the front just also doesn't help with the whole authentic look that you're trying to give. So I just proceeded to do that on both sides. So the one thing that I like vibed a little bit about this unit, which probably is the only thing that I vibed about it, was that once I had actually washed it um, upon bleaching the knots and all that jazz, it did come out to look a lot thicker. Like this is the hair essentially once it's just been blow dried. Like I hadn't gone in with straighteners or anything like that, but you saw how it came. Like it looks super thin um, and it does feel very thin. Like I will be honest, like this isn't the, the thickest of units out there. Um, and essentially if I'd known that, I probably wouldn't have purchased it um, because it is straight and you do want obviously there to be some thickness into it, but it does have a lot of volume once you do wash it. Um, and then even when I proceeded to go in with straighteners, as you'll see, it still doesn't lose that volume that was there, which is what I quite liked about it. And I think that's probably the only thing that I like about it um, is that. But once I had obviously done my little side part, I then went in, I mean, middle part, I then went in and did my little side swoop. Um, and this is basically how my hair has stayed because I just vibes it so much. I think it's just really cute. I just like it. I think it just suits me in this, this little style that I got going on so I went in with some foam I can't remember the name of this foam but it's super good I actually really really like it um I'll list that in the description below what um, foam that I used and then I went in with my straighteners just to straighten out the hair and obviously just to get it to look flat at the top Once I was done getting the um, all the hair surrounding my little quiff swoop um, flat, I then went in with my concealer using an angled brush to help define my part. 
um, and then after doing that I basically just went on to perfect my swoop and then went back in with those little shredding tools to help frame that side that was swooping over just because I wanted it to hang a certain way. this is the finished look guys i hope that you like it i feel like i did really really well let me know in the comments if you feel like i did good let me know if there's any tips or tricks that you want to share like i fully know in going ahead and doing this next time what i can do differently what things i can make sure that i avoid but i feel like i did a really good job guys so if you made it this far thank you so much stay tuned for my next video be sure to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel bye